Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I am back today to do a book review for The Stars Within by Lena Allison Knight. This is actually the second time I am doing this video because last time my computer died and I lost the footage. So this is also my last quarter finalist book review that I am doing. This is about Corel, who is a psionic, and in this world, psionics are controlled by the corporations. They're tested as children, and if a psionic is found, then the corporation that owns the area where people live, you, that psionic then becomes property of the corporation. And they're trained to use their powers, and they're also trained to enjoy a high life. So. They wear collars to keep them in line, but then when on a mission, they can go buy whatever they want, do whatever they want, within reason. They're encouraged to sleep around and just be casual <laughs> with everything in their life. However, Corel, who is a telepath and telekinetic, she doesn't necessarily like what the company makes her do which is destroy things uh, to keep to subdue people in line typically and we that's where we get to see her is she's been sent on this mission to get this planet subdued for the corporation and they're asking her to destroy villages in order to do it while she's there her lover comes he's a medic and a telepath as well and you get to see their dynamic, which is important because then later on, and this is not a spoiler, it's on the back of the book, his contract gets sold, which is something that's very rare for their level of psionic, but it still is a possible or a possibility that they knew could happen. And so she's very sad about that. A little bit later, she finds out that the collar that's used to keep him in check has been used on him and he's somebody who does not fight the corporation so the new person who holds this contract is using it on him and she is worried and she really does love him and she decides that her love for him is what is going to drive her interest in escaping that is getting you into the book a pro the first 10 to 20 percent i'm interested i the use of the powers and how you, she reasons using certain things like the process of using the powers especially because you're seeing this in battle was interesting to me i i like psionic powers and books a con for me was the inciting incident is more than 20 percent into the book it's after 20 percent that galhan's contract is sold and then it's a little bit past that, that she finds out that his collar is being used against him and, or being used to punish him. She doesn't know for what, but that then is like, she's like, okay, I, I'm going to escape. Before that, you, she doesn't have that. So I, I feel like this, everything started in this book late. I think the, the beginning could have been done showing her powers and how she uses them and introducing Galhan a lot sooner and still making her a sympathetic character that you would then want to root for as she finds a way to escape. But that's just me and that's, you know, my writer brain. A pro for this is I like the world building. The concept of corporations controlling things, well, that's not too far off from our reality now. And then I really loved when we get to meet the scientists and they're all pretty cutthroat in their scientific fields. Not that they're actually trying to kill one another, but oh yeah, es corporate espionage is a very real thing amongst them. Yeah, Nolia was a fun character to meet and she's just like, Corel, you're very naive about things. And Corel's like, oh, well, I, I guess <laughs> the way they educated us, yeah, I, I wouldn't know these things. So it's kind of fun to see that balance of somebody who is in the world and and is considered a normal but then they're just like mm, what are you doing so i i liked the 
the dynamic of Corella and Lilia when you meet her. And it's a space opera, and I love space operas to begin with, so that was a pro. Yay pro anything space opera. This isn't a con or a pro, but it was interesting that we get introduced to some characters later on in the book that I'm kind of curious to see how that through line goes, because it does seem like there will be a through into the second book. And I don't know if maybe in the second book that this character is going to be like an alternate love interest. I know that happens a lot in books, especially since Galhan's somewhere else. Oh, here's this other guy. No, we're just, he's just a work associate. And now, oh, we're starting to get to know one another. Maybe there's feelings. We don't know. We don't know anything, but he did bring up the question, are you sure Galhan's going to want to leave with you when you go to rescue him? So yeah, we don't know the answer to that. I am curious of reading the rest of this trilogy though, because I want to find out what the answers are. Not exactly a 100% comp title, but the Paradox series by Rachel Bach, this gives me the same vibes as this one, where you have a character who is just living her life and is happy and then other circumstances happen and then she reacts to that. That's kind of what this is. So it is character driven, which is a pro. I think Knight did a great job of having the character drive the plot of the story rather than, well, these things have to happen for the plot but it's the character choosing, making those decisions and choosing things, or she's given a circumstance where then she's choosing things that drive the plot. And I love those stories. So overall, really enjoyed it. Like I said, looking forward to reading the rest of this trilogy. If you've read this, I'd love to know. Uh, let me know down below. Thank you and have a great day. Mm -hmm.